Um, my mom likes to send me boxes, which is amazing because I love receiving them and the little goodies that come in each box. This box, however, was supposed to be sent because my mom had gotten me contacts from America, from my eye doctor. And a slight mix-up happened and my mom ended up sending me her glasses that got sent and she now has my contacts. So, oops, uh, sucks a little bit. Uh, my mom didn't realize till after she had received my contacts at home that were addressed to me that they were for me because the box that her glasses came in, she just assumed they were my contacts. So she created this box to send to me. And then we realized after she had already sent this box that a package arrived for me from the eye doctor, which must have meant that she had my contacts and I now have her glasses. So I'm not gonna show you her glasses, but um, I just thought that was a funny story that I'd share with you guys. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sherry. If you are not new here, welcome back to one of my videos. I'm currently at my boyfriend's parents' house in England, and I am currently using his sister's room because she has the best lighting. However, it is about 4.30 in the evening. Um, I just got off a phone call with my mom because she has sent a box, everybody! This video had a lot of likes from the last time she sent one in lockdown and um, this one's kind of a Valentine's Day spring box which is super fun um, so I'm gonna show you guys everything that is in that box now if you can see the box it's I mean okay so I've just put this into Ellie's room and this is basically the entire box it's 48 pounds so yeah um, it was real hard to get upstairs everybody so it was a massive box and I got here in one week, which is amazing. So um, I'm going to show you guys in this video everything that my mom sent in my American box. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I was just saying, I just got off the phone with my mom and we go through every single item that's in the box. The box thankfully didn't get opened by customs. So let's go ahead and get into the items in the box. So this first item I haven't actually taken out of the package yet because it's quite big, um, but it is for Valentine's Day and it's super super cute and this is just my favorite animal ever. She got me a hedger blanket. So if you didn't know anything about me, I love hedgehogs. Um, I think that I should share with all of you the fun information that I have found out that a baby hedgehog is called a hoglet and that is just the cutest thing ever. So, um, my mom found this, uh, it was either at the equivalent of a uh, English store called TK Max, which is TJ Max for us, or she got it at Home Goods, which is like Home Sense. Um, but I'm not positive. Um, I think she's taking the tag off of it, but either way, um, super cute, and uh, she likes to put things in Ziploc bags so that if anything spills or any water gets on the box, the items inside don't get damaged. So there may be a lot of plastic in this video. Apologies. There are a lot of sweeties in this box. So of course for Valentine's Day, my mom had to get the Jolly Rancher lollipops, which are heart shaped. Um, any Americans watching this know these were like one of the finds that you could get on Valentine's Day with the Valentine's Day cards. When somebody taped one of these inside your Valentine's, you knew. You knew you were a true homie. But um, yeah, so there are cherry, pink lemonade, green apple, and watermelon. And anybody who's ever had a Jolly Rancher knows that watermelon is the best. One of Tom's favorite American treats, sweets, whatever you want to call it, are Pop-Tarts. And uh, my mom found these in the store, which are a brand new item. They are the Pop-Tart Bites. So he's already opened them. He's already tried them. No, he hasn't tried them. Maybe he has. I don't know. Um, they basically come in little snack packs, which is just the cutest thing ever. Um, this one in particular is chocolate and strawberry frosted. Anybody who likes plain Pop-Tarts, I do think you're a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. But we can still be friends if you like Pop-Tarts. Next flavor that my mom got, this box is a little bit squished. Still same thing. Still bite-sized Pop-Tarts. Is it getting too dark in here? Okay, I got it. One second, I'm gonna turn on the light. Okay guys, sorry, I had to add a light because the sun went down. I didn't actually beat the sun. Um, continuing on, so I have the chocolate and strawberry 
bite-sized Pop-Tarts. And then this box got a little crinkled in, in the big box. Frosted brown sugar cinnamon. And we have the confetti cake, which is a new flavor. I've never seen this flavor of Pop-Tart before. Although I think they have like hundreds and hundreds of flavors of Pop-Tart. So I don't know, will they be any good? Maybe, possibly. Thomas loves Pop-Tarts, so they're gonna get eaten either way. So Pop-Tarts galore. Keeping in tone with the food items, my mom got Thomas and mine's favorite, favorite chocolate, which is from San Francisco. It is Ghirardelli chocolate. If you've ever been to San Francisco, please, please go to Ghirardelli Square if you have not been before. If not, most people kind of know what it is because we have them in some of the shops. Um, I think you might be able to buy them in our grocery stores, but I'm not positive. Anyway, to show you what my mom got, she got us a selection of Ghirardelli and look, they have like little hearts on them because they're Valentine's and look, they're actual like little hearts. So these flavors are creme brulee, caramel and dark chocolate. I'm not a dark chocolate or white chocolate person, but I probably will try the creme brulee because who doesn't like creme brulee? Milk chocolate, easy, said, you know, everybody loves milk chocolate. Well, maybe not everybody, but I love milk chocolate. And dark chocolate is Tom's favorite. She also got us a few individual bags of those flavors. So we have the Caramel Duet Hearts, um, the Milk Chocolate Duet Hearts, and she also got a Fall Assortment. So I think these were just on sale, so she got us these, but this is just the Fudge caramel, caramel, and pumpkin spice. So obviously it is Valentine's Day next week, not Thanksgiving, but she probably got these on sale and you can never go wrong with sending us Ghirardelli chocolate any time of the season, whatever flavor, we're gonna eat it. Again, more chocolate because it is Valentine's Day coming up. The fine assortment of European chocolate and, oh, fine assortment of European chocolate but, oh, this one's milk and creamy, and this one's just an assortment. So my mom said she had some of these and she really liked this chocolate. Funny thing is this chocolate is actually made in Germany. So she's basically, it was made in Europe, sent to America and then sent back to Europe. So I've never tried these before, but I don't discriminate against chocolate. I will try any kind of chocolate. So I think we have enough with the Ghirardelli and this, but hey, you can never have too much chocolate, right? Another chocolatey item my mom got us is this. It is the Heartbreakers Premium Swiss Milk Chocolate. So it basically kind of looks like a Terry's Chocolate Orange for any English or European people that know what that is. Um, but I don't like chocolate and orange. Please don't come for me. Um, yeah, chocolate and orange, the flavors don't, they're not, they're not for me anyway. Thomas loves them, but um, I'm not a big fake orange fan. Orange soda, orange popsicle, it's not for me. So um, I'm gonna be very excited to try. It looks really dark, but it says milk chocolate. And it says premium Swiss. And hey, Swiss know how to make their chocolate. So with more food items, my mom sent this, which is super cool. She's done this a few times and definitely a home mom thing. So maybe not everybody out there cares about seeing it, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. My mom canned her spaghetti sauce, which is such a Southern thing that I don't know if anybody else is gonna understand having your mama's sauce, but yeah, my mom canned her spaghetti sauce and my mom's sauce takes like, I don't know, two, three days to make. So I have a few jars of this, it's very heavy. Um, we're gonna actually have this tonight for dinner and I'm very excited because it just reminds me of home. So yay, spaghetti sauce. Another thing that my mom canned is this Carolina mustard. She was gonna send pretzel bread and she kind of forgot, which is totally okay. Um, but now it gives us a chance to try and make some pretzels in the air fryer, which is gonna be super fun. Um, I've never had Carolina mustard before. I'm not really a mustard connoisseur, um, but I do like mustard on my pretzels. So I'm hoping that this is good. The next items, I have no idea where my mom found them some kind of home goods store, I would guess. But she got Tom these um, Nightmare Before Christmas like wooden spoons. They're like lasered on. See, it's like Jack and Sally and 
I don't know who the heck that is. That's somebody. Somebody. <laughs> Jack and Sally. A little scary, but still cute. Sally. Um, and then Sally and Jack together. Um, yeah, these are really cool. These will be really fun to put out, like, on their own for Halloween. Um, but I, I go through, I can never have enough cooking utensils because I like cooking so much. So thanks for that, Mom. That's super cool and unique. I like unique Disney finds. I don't know about you guys, but I do. Another Valentine's Day thing that my mom sent, it's actually not for me, it's for Tom's parents, um, but it's just a really cool item, is these tea towels. It says open mind, open heart. And it's the pride edition because pride, y'all. Um, yeah, they're rainbow hearts and they're tea towels to like dry up your dishes and everything with. So I thought that was really cool and unique. And I mean, yes, it's for Valentine's Day, but you could keep this out any time of the year, especially in June, cause Pride Month. But um, yeah, thought it was super cute. And I think Tom's sister Ellie is gonna really want these too. <laughs> um, another set of tea towels that my mom got for Kate, this is for Easter, is they have little bunnies on them and little green baskets which if you haven't seen any of my other vlogs while we've been here in lockdown their kitchen is this color and um it's really subtle and it's not like too in your face i know not everybody loves to decorate like we do but i love decorating and it's kind of cute to have like seasoned tea towels and i do have tea towels for every single season so Okay, another item that my mom got for me and Thomas for our apartment when we do go back is this little gnome. I think some people don't really like gnomes, so I know it's not everybody's taste, but this is a little Valentine's Day gnome. Isn't he cute? I, I think he's cute. And he has like this cute little hat on and he just like sits on like your, your um, fireplace, like on the mantle or on a shelf. Yeah, so I have a Valentine's Day one, and my mom also found me a little Easter one, which, look it, you can like bend his ears, and he's holding a carrot, and he just sits on like, he's gonna sit on our little bookshelf, but <gasps> I think he's so cute. He needs a name, so if you have a name for him, please leave it in the comments. Okay, so the next few items are actually for Colin and Bunty. If you don't, follow my channel or you, this is the first video you've seen. They are constantly in my videos. I have an entire Meet Bunty video. Tom's parents just got Bunty in this lockdown, so I will have that video linked below. But if you want to follow Colin and Bunty's adventures, Colin's Instagram is here. We haven't come up with a handle yet for Bunty and Colin for the Instagram, so as of right now, it's just Colin's Instagram. But there are pictures of both of them, and if you like following cute dogs, give them a follow. But to get into what my mom got them, if you can't tell, we have a thing for hedgehogs. So she got Colin this little <laughs> squeaky hedgehog. And then um, for baby Bunty, we have a carrot and a little bunny. If you have watched my meet Bunty video, you can see her like hopping around the yard. She literally looks like a little bunny. So that's so cute. Definitely in the theme of Easter, but still really cute. And they've been playing tug of war, which is just the cutest thing ever. I have a few clips, so I don't know if you care, but I'm going to insert them here. So oh, they're just so cute. And her little tiny bark is just the cutest thing ever. Colin is tolerating her basically, but cute dogs. I mean, that's the only thing that's getting me through lockdown. The next bag of goodies is kind of a mix of things so I don't know if I'll go through all of them but basically if you follow my channel you know that my mom loves to send these in every box which I am so not mad about and this has started way before COVID by the way but um she sent these holders and if you know what these holders are for you know what's about to come bath and body works hand sanitizers and hand cream she did send a hand cream the hand cream is twisted peppermint and the flavors, flavors as if you can taste them, but you know what I mean, of uh, hand sanitizer, she has sent raspberry tangerine, eucalyptus, Waikiki beach coconut, ooh, that's gonna smell good, 
Um, yeah, so she's actually sent one for uh, Tom, one for, I just dropped that, Paul, um, one for me and one for Kate. So we each get one and we each get a hand sanitizer, which is super cute and fun. And we all need hand sanitizer right now. But, but she got them a little Grogu one. If you follow The Mandalorian, you'll know who this is. Another item that my mom sent for Tom is the Clinique Men's Skincare Line. She got him the moisturizing lotion and the face wash. If we have all watched my reaction to the Ordinary products, we have learned that you must do a test patch when it comes to skincare. If you haven't watched that video, I'll link that video down below as well. It's a doozy, guys. But um, she did get Tom the mini travel version of this for Christmas, so he has tried and does know it's not gonna burn his face off. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Anyway, the second to last thing that my mom sent was actually not for me, but for Kate and Paul. It is this full bag of C's candy. This is actually a, like a picnic bag, so it's like insulated. And this, my friends, is filled with sweets. Basically, she got gummy hearts, jelly beans, uh, Bordeaux bars, C's peppermint, lollipops, an entire assortment. There's so much in here, I can't even actually pull it all out because it would just be a mess. So basically, um, C's candy is like a California homemade kind of old fashioned candy store. That was kind of hard to explain. But yeah, basically I live in the Bay Area, which is within the San Francisco area. So Ghirardelli is actually all the way in San Francisco and Seas Candy is like at our local mall and other local malls and things like that. So Seas Candy and Ghirardelli are kind of my hometown chocolate favorites. So if you don't understand because you're an English person or European watching this video, that is what Seas Candy and Ghirardelli is. The last item in the box that my mom got is for Paul and Kate. It's kind of a thank you for letting my daughter stay with you for all these months of lockdown kind of present. Um, it is another item kind of like the Seas Candy. If you are not from California or the Bay Area, you might not know what it is. But basically she got them a giant box. It says Happy Valentine's Day. And it is actually from, oh, what does it say here? Share the love. And it has little hearts in it. It is a Hickory Farms box. So this is filled with um, sausages. And so there's a, a beef summer sausage, turkey summer sausage, cheddar, three cheese and onion blend, harvest cheddar. So it's basically an assortment box if you're from Europe, it's kind of like the hampers that you can send on Moon Pig and that kind of a thing. Um, Hickory Farms usually comes out for Christmas in the area. They have like little pop-ups in the mall, um, but it's, oh, their summer sausage is just really good and their cheeses are really good as well. Um, so yeah, that it, my mom got that for them to kind of say thank you. Um, so we're probably gonna have a charcuterie board night where we eat some of the sausage, the cheese, the mustard, all of those items together. That is basically it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing the American treats that my mom sends me. I know you guys do like this video when I post it. People will either comment and be like, oh, when I went to America, I had that, or I love that, or I'm gonna try and find that, or my next trip to America, I wanna get that. So I really, really enjoy doing these videos. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribers button. I'm not sure when this video is gonna go up, but I am so close to hitting 100 subscribers. I just hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. This is such a crazy feeling. 100, baby, 100. Never thought I would get to this. I know it's not a million, but it feels like a million to me. And I know it's not like, you know, 100,000 or a million or anything, but it's a huge deal to me because I've been working on this channel for four years now. If you haven't seen that video, that is the channel trailer that I have on my channel. So if you go onto the laptop, you can see when you come to my channel, 
a video of all the clips of every single video I've ever made on this channel. Some, I understand, are really hard to watch when I first started out. I have, I still don't really have any idea what I'm doing, but I enjoy making YouTube videos for you guys, and the response recently has been so lovely, and it's kind of one of my favorite things to do during this lockdown. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,